six times as good. <laughs> it's excited. Oh, that was fast. Well, I, mean, I guess it would be. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Magical. Oh, yeah, when you attack, you disarm the target. It hurt more. That said, you have an easier disarm. Because the debuff was your ability with the other Dodging, class. yeah. No, I mean, your spell you had that debuffed everybody with the other class. Specialization or whatever. You had something that put a debuff on every enemy. You oh, it's a spell. Oh. Uh, it's a random debuff. Yeah, but it would at least have that as an option. Yeah, it wouldn't happen for now. Now, this, I, I said this is the single most interesting thing a trickster has. Synergy wise. I think it's a good one. I just. I guess I need to look at what creatures really benefit from this. I mean, like here, I guess it means he'd be much more likely to attack again. Yeah. Against this one, with well, the way it's worded, it triggers when something fails to happen. Is that failing to cast or failing to fizzle? Probably failing to cast. Which should make this better, unless it makes it worse. Or you can make it. Oh, you can't make it. I thought for a second you could. Right. What? I'm 15, I make 15. See, it works great with this guy. Yeah. Assuming he does, isn't one of your first to die, but that's all how it seems. I'm not getting any matches. It works with. Oh god, it works with him. That's that's. I think that doesn't seem to be compatible with that many creatures yet. I see this doesn't happen during your it has to be during your creature's turn. This is at the start of battle. So I don't think it'd be compatible. Okay, it's fairly compatible with this dude, though. Yeah, which makes a 75% chance to cast. Damn it. Hmm. The Trickster might be a later game class. This... I don't know. I think you're poo pooing a lot of stuff. Good luck with controls here. Oh. Right, but we don't have this. Is, yeah, you'd have yeah. to have a team of them. Right, we don't have enough to do that. So this one you said won't matter because it's at the start of that. At least the way it's written, yeah. Well, you can ask in the Discord, I can't. I'm not in it. Right, yeah, it's written, that's just. A, it seems pretty clear cut. Because it specifies on world creatures' turns. I know there are things that this would be strong on. 
Again, the Thunder Sound Ranger probably being the best thing we currently have. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. A chance to act. Spill gems can be triggered with a chance to do such and such. That. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. We don't have any of those currently, but. We can't use that at all. Yet. Yeah, that's, one of the, that's a sin type. Is having a ball of light for a head, they just don't have a head. And have horns on their neck. I mean, it's an interesting design. Oh, is this one of the inversion ones? Yeah, the shapeshifters all do something like that. He benefits, but I don't feel he really ever feel to revolve around the light. A Salamander team could be pretty fun. It could be. Because they're all about casting spells when such and such happens. Yeah. The Wind Salamander, which you have, its ability is whenever your creatures get a new, get an extra cast due to a Salamander effect, it happens again. There's the Earth Salamander triggers on Resurrection. Uh, the Water Salamander triggers on Defending or Provoking. These ice synergize well with salamanders too, possibly. specifically here on percentage chances. I know. Oh. But most of our percentile amounts. Yeah, that's what I was looking These are all about curses. Yeah, so this one is better than fewer people you have on your team, it seems. Huh. If there's just one death, it's just worse than the unit. Yeah. But he's last one standing, it's alive. guaranteed. See, this is the other thing I'm talking about. What? Murder of Crows. What about it? You were saying something about their abilities to give them a spell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Murder of Crows just does damage. I think it's similar to Corpse Explosion, actually. Ooh. I don't 
Oh, that one? You know, you're right. That does seem... If 25% damage resistance, period, is... Actually, if you have both of these guys, it really makes you a lot more tanky just as a team. Yeah, guards are basically kind of... They don't really give them much stuff. But like, look at the defense stat. Dear God. Oh, uh, if you were a paladin or something, those would just be the scariest. I heard... Uh, yeah, Jim Pyromancer, I think, is a, is a favorite of a lot of people. Oh, and that's the... This deals additional damage equal to, to a fourth of the damage the enemy has received. Oh! I figured out why this thing is so hard to kill. It's always treated as defending. That's like a, heavily defending. Right, it always has defensive buffs. You know, there are a lot of things that proc only on defense, I'm reluctant to use them because I never use defense, but it automatically does it at the end of its turn. Ooh. Oh, a defending build could be pretty scary. Oh. This guy's really good for an attack base. First thing, it relies on crits. Not him too. Yeah, if you have two guys together, yeah, he, that's he, pretty threatening. Yeah, he, and the other Asura, when we started this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your crits can be crits. Abominations are really all about forms. So yeah, I feel we have, our options are a bit limited. How do I get to that one? Um, do you know which button opens the menu? Um, yeah, there we go. Character. Perks. I think that this is worth putting a bunch of people. Okay, I am glad that it can reach 100%. Yeah, you basically can nullify one enemy from all that. Mind you, uh... <laughs> yes, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Oh, corpse explosion? Oh, I, that's true. You could make that happen. And corpse explosion isn't limited to one per team. You could have it on six You have six of them. Mind you, there's a problem with that. And that's that. You're not even really playing the game anymore, If it goes well. Well, that part. You're not playing the battles. There's a lot more to the game than just the battles. Yeah, but I feel the battles are what all this building is getting, is building up to. But no, the 100% chance to trigger a corpse explosion at the beginning is... I mean, it really sounds like a put-all-your-eggs-in-one-basket kind of build. But... And the power... I mean... Is tempting. But the dark side is always tempting. So this doubles your chance to get crit damage. It doesn't double your chance, but it increases it significantly. Yes? What are you talking about? If it fails, it rolls again. That doubles the chance. Right. No, because you have a 50% chance, and you're not going to double it to 100, so it'd be like a 75% chance. Oh, well, okay. So... I guess it more halves your chance to not crit. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, if you're going to do a crit-based build, that's not... That's significant. Yes. Okay. Spontaneity could be amazing, or it, I don't. It doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't sound good actually. Because again, the, uh, casting a random spell is. I mean, the odds of it being what you want are low. This goes well with the invisible. Right, which is a good defense. It's one of the most expensive perks to max, but I'd say it'd be worth it. 
because more damage while invisible, and you can have the whole team start invisible. But how long do they stay invisible? That ignoring defense completely seems pretty great. Look at that. This setup right here seems pretty powerful. What I do like is... This seems really useful, too, for yeah, it does. Evan. I would oh. say max this and this out, and you would have a pretty good, just even still, attack base. No, 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 no. I think we got something more interesting now that I think about it. What? This isn't an attack. I mean, it's both a defense and attack. But this... It isn't really... This feels it'd be it benefit pretty much all builds yes. equally. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, I say give this a shot. See how well it right, works. I just need to double check. Confuse your enemies. That the further enemies are confused and you start invisible makes it hard for them to get off. They start confused and down one person. That's true. And you're invisible and you have a seventy percent damage increase while invisible. <sighs> yeah. The things that hit the entire enemy team if you're confused how you just hit your entire team instead it's pretty fun as long as it's not on you then it's pretty scary but this means you're no longer really locked into attacking no you're not you could do but anything we, but we do want our creatures to synergize with each other. yes to be honest i've been looking forward to breaking out just attack 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 was a ban. Did they get it? Actually, the guy who made the song Eggy Pocket used to be the lead singer of Attack Attack, I think. So let's see. Is there, are there new things we want to make? We d oh, actually, there are things that don't fit with this, and that's Hunker Down and Tanky builds. Those do not like our current set. Because once uh, Confusion and Invisible wear off, you don't have that much left, you know? So You can still have the Fox. Yeah, Bill Murray, uh, Johnny Frank, the guy who makes Eggy Pocket song. <laughs> oh, all right. So healing and there, the damage. Yeah, I don't really understand the point of healing on the first turn. Again, if you're a cleric, you can like overheal and stuff. And that's well, if you're a cleric, you can overheal and um, what is it? Healing spell. Has a chance to be cast on at the start of battle. I guess if you have a way to invert the damage and make it an attack of it. Attack. Yeah, but the question is, would this interpret that and target it. the enemy? I don't know, but it just says it's cast. It doesn't say who it targets. Oh, I'm assuming the default target of healing spell is your friends, though. It might be a thing to ask in the Discord. And we don't have any means of... Again, you'd have to get that inversion going on before this at, before this trip. Yes. So it's not like you just afflict a bl blight upon the trip. And this you know, you're useful once you can really like front load your team with damaging spells. I mean, we have lots of spells. We don't have any damaging. Well, what do we have that are life spells right now? Because we haven't even looked at what spells we have for life spells. We have... Holy Bowl. Very purchased. What was all the stuff that was in the list that, like, that you can get? We should have enough for that. We should have a ton. Alright, for life, uh, there's Chastise, which is a weak attack. That has a heck of a lot of casts. I think 35 is the most they'll have at base. Oh, that absorbs damage. The, this does moderate damage and can do 20 can do more damage on specific targets. And if you have more than one ethereal spell gem, that does more damage. No, that that the target has. Oh. Which makes a bit conditional. Oh, this is nature. That's yeah. all. Yeah, we have. Those are our damaging life spells. Chastise and Ignis Fatus. And you find them through inscriptions? Is how you get more of them? Yes. We should have some damage of every class. But there's Magic Missile, which is sorcery. But you can't use them yet on uh, 
fox because they're... No, no, it depends on what I fuse with the fox. Oh, that's... If I fuse the fox with another fox, no. If you fuse it with something that with is... With a gazer, yes, for instance. Yeah, there are a lot of attackings. Like, here's a Blind Island. This is phrase percent of the amount reduced. 150 percent. I don't like that the phrase that it target. It makes it like the target is dealing the damage, mm -hmm. which would make this a bad spell. But no, they take the damage. So you reduce their defense and then you and hurt them. Well then, yeah. What if we made a box and merged it with the whatever that type is? Well, I mean, any type. Well, I think we should focus more on what traits would be benefit from. I guess we're gonna make them a caster, so we're gonna the Terra. Yeah. Mind you, that means going more or less the full casting team. I thought that's what you said, is you wanted to go away from attackers. Alright. And casting is one of the paths you could take. I don't know if I want to go 100 percent though. Again, I would like to try doing that. That isn't relying much on explosions, though part of me does want to see. How far I can go with it, just in a full explosion build. Yeah, there's so many options to this. This just only cannot take advantage of it. Yeah, I don't understand what. I guess it could trigger things that are on cast with it. No, for the most part, I think this is for things that can, which we can't. Which can be increased. No. No, we have no way to increase it. Yeah, that's that's a before turns thing. So, in an ideal circumstance, that gives us 18, 50%, 15% chances. Mm -hmm. Heck, let's go. Let's, let's see what we got. First, actually, let's see how good of a fox we got. Uh, that's not... Yeah, it's not... I mean, it'll do what we need it to do. Yeah, intelligence is good for it. It's just how intelligence it's is the most it's... ideal drop. Attack. Intelligence is the most important. What do we want to do? To... What make it... So we... What do we want it to be? Do we want it to also be... Well, yes. You don't want uh, someone who just passively supports by existing, because they yeah, have turns. No, you want to make it a cast as a caster. We could also give it this... Guess which benefits something that's smart. No, it goes against our philosophy as a trickster. Because mm -hmm. it means gradually wear. Oh. Yeah. No, because then what's he gonna do yeah, on this? Can't turn? cast spells manually. It's interesting. There's probably some way to make it work. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. They can cast any way but manual. Man, that could be used. It'll, it'll do some pleasant things to his intelligence if you use it. Yeah. And, but also look at what it does. Yeah, it means. Two of the same class, which means if you keep. The spells on it, it automatically can trigger up to three. My this thing is a 15% on him per gem oh. that you put on there. Which means three, which means roughly 45% chance. Or we could just put this on him. Because it doesn't care if it's a manual cast or not. That's up to you too. Or you could just have an independent. It's not going to boost his intelligence here as much. It's up to you. You're the one making the team. Huh. Brownie Mauler sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just someone who really, really likes brownies. Yeah, they're just huge sugar fiends. It's like Cookie Monster, but brownies. Yeah, it's his, it's his cousin. The Brownie Mauler? Yeah. It doesn't look anything like it. I guess the question is what color do you want your funny green fox to be other than green? 
I mean, I like oranges, so gold is pretty close, and yellow and red is pretty, I mean... And you like that spell creature deals. Damage to everyone equal to 35% intelligence. This That's is gonna, 